and share with Facebook regarding uh, EBS. Oh, well, everybody's looking at me now. <laughs> you know, Jimmy Bondock is actually uh, somebody that I work with in abs CDF for a show called Twist and Shout. Uh, Martin Yavera and myself were the ones hosting it. I don't know uh, exactly why Jimmy would come out so boldly and to say such things, but something must have happened, something must have occurred for him to to become that way because that doesn't seem like the Jimmy I once knew. So, um, and I knew it was going to create a lot of waves, uh, whether it's people in the industry or even people outside of the industry and maybe even people who are far away like OFWs who, who stay in contact with their families because of what ABS-CBN has been able to give them. And um, I, I'll have to, maybe someday, if I sit down with Jimmy, I can really ask him sincerely, bro, what, what drove you to say these things? And if he does have actual stories, then I would follow the advice of, of Angel, you know, who, who, who said, you know, just make a, make a proper complaint and take it through the, pop, the proper courses. Because there are more than just, it's just more than one station involved here. It's thousands of people yeah. in that station that uh, should the station disappear, a lot of people's lives will not just be be put on hold, but a lot of lives will be affected in ways that may be very debilitating and with possibly no way of recovering from that. I mean, from someone who knew him, uh, work-wise and personal-wise, are you disappointed? Um, there are reasons for everything, you know, um, why people say things and for me, a person who, who speaks that way can only be driven so far, maybe umabot na dun sa threshold niya at lumampas dun sa threshold niya, kaya nilabas na yun. I have to be uh, someone who needs to see both sides of the story before I can make a judgment call on it. I. I think that I've been blessed with a wonderful team, my wife, you know, and my and Genesis, and my family. That's always told me there are two sides to the coin. There's heads or tails. If it's just heads on both sides, then it's counterfeit. It's not a real story. But you have to hear both sides in order to find out why, why that happened. I I'm saddened by the by, by what was said, uh, but um, I'm still. I still know he's a friend. I've worked with him, and I had fun working with him. There was a lot of laughter. Him, Isa, uh, and there was one more, one more judge. There were three of them, and then, and then um, Martin and I were hosts, and we had a lot of laughter and fun uh, getting together every week, you know, at one of the studios in ABS CBN. So that's what I can say. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, uh, sir, may tanong si Roldan. Ako yes, Roldan. Ah, uh, sir, lahat ng mga connected sa ABS-CBN at saka work or whatever, nagpo-post online about their 65-year experience with the yeah. network. Di ba, sir, nagpost ka rin ng something? Nagpost din ako. Kasi, would you like to read it to them? Or? Yeah, well, it's, very, it's actually very simple. I said it's been quite a journey. What a journey it has been to reach many is uh, well, it's, it's actually quite short. Send me no, sir. Only on Instagram. Instagram. And I'll probably uh, I'll post it also on uh, on uh, Twitter, Twitter soon. Today, after. It's very simple. Here, I said, what a journey it's been. To inspire many is quite a feat, but to inspire countless is a victory. Thank you for making me part of the family. Happy anniversary, ABS CBN. Why did I say this? Because never did I thought, never did I think that I would actually be able to reach so many people, not only in the Philippines, but everywhere in the world. And it is one reason why I was given the, the song to do, which was Kaling Lang Filipino, which was the theme song of TFC, because it was meant to reach the OFWs. And uh, I'm so thankful that now they can watch their